Question 3. What is the common difference between consecutive terms of arithmetic sequence represented by the function f of n equals to 2n plus 3? Well, I should add something here. That is, I should add that n belongs to natural numbers. n belongs to natural numbers, okay? That is kind of important. If n is not natural numbers, then it will not represent arithmetic sequence, right? Normally, when we write f of n, we assume that n belongs to natural number, but we should be specific. So I'm adding this, n belongs to natural number, in the question. Now, it is a very interesting question. What is the common difference between consecutive terms of arithmetic sequence represented by f of n equals to 2n plus 3, where n belongs to natural numbers? Now, consecutive terms are the terms which come one after the other. For example, first term, second term, first and second are consecutive terms and third term is consecutive to the second. Okay. Now, between consecutive terms, we should have common difference and that should be same if it is arithmetic sequence. Now, from the equation, what do you guess? Is it 2, is it 3 or something else? Well, one way is, let us see what sequence does this function represent. So if I write f of 1, so f of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1, 3 is 5. And f of 2 will be 2 times 2, 4, 4 plus 3, 7. f of 3 will be 3 times 2, 6. And 6 plus 3 is 9. And f of 4 will be 4 times 2, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. So we get a sequence 5, 7, 9, 11. Now, what is the common difference? Com common difference is 7 minus 5, which is 2. 9 minus 7, which is 2. 11 minus 9, which is 2. Therefore, common difference is... is equals to 2. So that is the right answer, correct? And therefore we can mark C as our right answer. Now, from the equation, you see common difference is 2. Now, can you relate it? And could you do this without finding the sequence? I guess you could. Let's try to plot this. This plot is kind of important. Now, if I have n as 1, then my point was 5. So at 1, let us assume this is 5. And then f of 2, it was c. So whenever you move one unit here, we move two units up, right? Do you see? One unit up, two units right, up. One right, two up. Because 2 is the slope. Do you see the rise over run? So the slope of a line actually gives you the common difference. Okay, remember that. Slope of this line gives you the common difference. Now, I want to ask you one more question here. Yes, you have answered the question. It wanted to know what is the common difference from a given function like f of n equals to 2n plus 3. Now, my question to you is, which is sometimes asked under communication, can we join these line points? Can we join these points? We can't. Why? Because n is set of natural numbers, not real numbers. Okay, so n can have values only 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Right? So n could be 1, n could be 2, n could be 3, n could be 4, but nothing in between. Do you understand? That is why we cannot join this line. And remember, n cannot be 0 also. So line n points will start only from 1, not even from 0. If they are starting from 0, then it is no more a sequence, okay? Now, so, so because n is a set of natural numbers, and in natural numbers, 
the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, thank you.